Hello, Internet. This is Spastique, joined by... Uh, full head points. And... I helped program, program this game. And this is going to be... And Steve. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just here for the food. And uh, I'm going to be doing a blind run of Magikana. This is uh, co-produced by uh, Team Gaijin Alex, who uh, I originally met trying to make Endless Blue, but, uh, like, unfortunately we've kind of procrastinated big time on it, but luckily they got this project, and I am basically swept off my feet by the side of this. It looks amazing. And they're producing it with uh, Haruna Soft, which is, uh, I guess, uh, bullet points. Could you explain who they are? Uh, well, Haruhuna, Haruhana Soft is only a one-person thing. It's uh, headed by uh, Michiharu Ruko on DeviantArt. And uh, like what, pretty much one year ago, uh, Ruko tried making this game in Game Maker Studio, but they lacked the resources and the skill to make the game it's, uh, herself. So... She it kind of went into development hell for until February until she's like she decided to just uh, say hey let's I I need somebody to help me make this game and well uh, pop fan uh, pop fan decided to take it up and then I decided to come in after him because you know I'm I mean not to brag but I'm a lot better at programming than he is and I would have thought that this game would have ended it it badly if he didn't. Uh, join if I didn't join in on this project, and I was right to decide on that. And well, here's the game now. All right, now let's take a quick look. Ooh, I like the sound effects, very classic. Okay, difficulty, lives. I'm gonna go with five. Let's see. This key config. Okay, Z and X, okay. Seems, oh, shoot, that was the escape button. Uh, okay, it looks like since it's uh, off, I can, uh, again, blind run, this is being recorded live. Well, this uh, get, this means you guys, folk, you folks get to see the opening window, so, yeah, there we go. We get to see from the beginning. See? How to Oh, and soft. there's two. Yes? Uh, there's two options for the fireball command. Um, from the looks of things, it looked like you had it set up for up plus the attack button. But you can also choose to have it set to just have its own separate button. Okay. Let's try it like that. Try it which way? Uh, up plus attack. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get this show on the road. How do I pause? Okay. Yeah, I want to turn down the volume so we can hear us. But the uh, music's off to a good start. Okay. 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 I got a hammer. Off to a very good start. Yeah. Although control. the stream's a lot behind, so I can't really see what you're doing. I'm stomping on slime thingies. The background look looks amazing. The controls are very fluid, like, it's very easy to move around. Like the enemies, like that little caterpillar thing I just encountered, where, like, it takes multiple hits. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, really liking the enemies, really liking the design, whoa. Really liking the design. Oh, shoot. I think I'm about to die here. So what do the coins do? Uh, they're points, essentially. Okay. And I noticed that the enemies respawn when you go off screen. Is that intentional? Um, if you, if you like, go to a second, second area, then yes. Okay. And also, there's going to be a noob bridge uh, on the second screen, which basically requires you to know how to run. Let's see, I think I, uh... Okay, it's not double tap. Yeah, it is double tap. There we go. Oh. Okay, going in the water uh, makes you lose a point. Okay. Oh. Stupid fish. Okay, I do like yeah, the. Like, 
What was that? Go ahead. I was Go gonna ahead. say, I really like the mechanic of, uh, like, you fall in the water, you lose a life instead of... I mean, lose a heart instead of losing a life. Yeah. That was... I decided to be a little bit more merciful than Ruko had originally intended. Alright. That would be, like, the actual classic, classic games where... It did everything. Only pitch does not does not kill you though. All right. Remember there was someone who talked about oh, that's a neat enemy. You stomp on them and they chase you down. <laughs> okay, this definitely falls under the Nintendo either the Nintendo hard trope or I'm really rusty at this. And uh, let's see, who's the music by? Uh, Ruka. Oh, neat. So, I, I saw on the website, wasn't it made by someone else, though, or...? Actually, we're... we're, uh... We're getting somebody else to help make the music. Okay, but it's off to a very good start. Okay, looks like I got a game over, so let's see if I can just please do this. Never mind, looks like I can't. So, no speed running here. Okay, there we go. I like the idea that, like, you can also attack while moving, which is nice. Let's see, how do I get that down there? Oh, I like the crouch. Oh, there we go. I thought I could jump on the fish. No, you can't. I wanted to have it that way, but you cannot. Alright. So I really like that uh, jumping across fish for platformers thing. Oh, uh, not again. Alright, I'm gonna be a little more cautious this time. I'm like, I'm really used to like really fast paced run and gun kind of platformers. Not running gun per se, but like run and stomp things. You know, like Donkey oh, Kong. Oh, this, this, this game can be that way. All right. Like my favorite platformers were probably uh, the Donkey Kong Country series. You do not die if you fall in that pit, by the way. It's okay. an alternate path. This one. Uh, yeah, that one. The two cat things with the shields. Yeah, you cannot hit them with the shield. You, you can't, uh, you... C the shield protects them, you need to hit them from, a, uh, like, either behind the shield or on their head. I fell in the pit and it just sent me back, though. Oh, that, that was water, Spaz. Yeah, I thought that that's what you meant. No, 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 no. I'm talking about that, uh, hole you saw earlier. I didn't see a hole. No, a hole. Okay. Oh crap. That was a close one. I'm gonna play it safe here. Combaticon says, Gold Surfer! Yeah, that's exactly what they are. It's like the Silver Surfer, but oh crap, that's a bomb. Oh. Oops, I confused the, uh, the beat stuff up button for the jump button. Hold on. Something told me I could have went through there. Oh well. Uh, you mean the ice blocks? Yeah. You can, but you you need the firepower up. All right. Let's see, where can I get it? Is it like it's hidden somewhere? Uh, yes, it's in the previous screen. I think it's too late to go get it though. All right. 
because there's I think there's an unjumpable barrier at the end of the second screen. Oh, I think I might have found a glitch. If you hold crouch and jump in a low area, it does like a flicker thing. <laughs> Crap, those things chase you. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Hey, you got a heart. Yes, and this. You got a what? I got a heart. I wonder if there's a way to get up there. There is, you just ruined it though. Oh, okay. This involves the surfers? No. Okay. Oh crap. It's freaking cat guys. Oh crap, they chase you. Yes, they do. get down here. See all those coins. Uh, that doesn't work. Wait. My guess was you had to jump on that caterpillar to go into that tunnel up there, right? Yes. Ah, oh, shoot, not again. And I'm out of lives. <laughs> you know, I... You know, people were saying this game was hard. I honestly didn't believe them until I saw you play it. Alright. It's go time. Oh, whoops, that's my... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I, uh... My controls are stuck. Okay, there. Never mind. I got him back. I accidentally hit the Windows key. Oh. Oh. Probably don't know why I prefer playing on a controller more than anything. Then it feels more natural for this type of game. Yep. Like I actually, I actually bought a uh, a Genesis to USB converter just so I could pl use my Sega Genesis controller to play this game. Huh. Ooh, Spadiddler. This one's all about the timing, I see. How are the levels designed? Is it uh, Ruko's design, your design, or how does it work? Her design with... Yeah, her, it was basically her design. There were minor, minor alterations made, um, like to kind of fix some oversights in the level design. But overall, it's just her. This like very precise platforming right here. Oh crap! Okay, it appears I I picked the hard routes. Yeah, the the lower ones are harder but more rewarding. I forgot, what do the gems do again? They're points. Okay. So you can't, you uh, don't use them for anything? Not yet. I don't think they are going to have a specific purpose. Right now, they're just for, uh... At the end of this, at the end of the demo stage, there's going to be like a high, like a high, top five high score thing, and... That's what your gems are for now. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, oh, great, I'm going the lower route again. And jump! Something told me I could have hit the down button and used that as an elevator. Where at? You'll see. Oh, you mean like right in between those two fire flowers where... Yeah, that's an exit for the stage that's below you. Okay. Okay, now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Ooh, we're in a new area now. Oh crap, you're red. Turn around! No. Oh. Okay. Where did you respawn? Oh, there you are. Oops. get up there. Here's a classic moment in any Let's Play where the guy tries in vain to reach the higher levels in a very hard platforming... Oh cool, I get an extra life part. Yes, you picked up a heart container. There's four of, this, four of these in this stage and it's possible to get all four. Oh cool, I'm in the clouds. So this is like a very open world style platformer game, right? Not totally open world. Like it's semi-linear, as in her own words. Like you can, there are multiple paths you can take, but each one leads you to the same spot. Oh yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. Like, like it seems like you could take like, although you're going to the same place, you can take virtually any route to go there. You can go underground, you go in the clouds. Yeah, pretty much. time. Oh crap. I've heard people say this boss is rather hard. It's all about finding the pattern. Okay, so jump when this thing falls. Okay, and get away from Compat it when it's jumping up. Compatagon uh, in the raid call says, multiple paths warrant multiple playthroughs is a key to making a good platforming game. I'd agree. Yep. And this definitely is a great example of that. So let's see, how much time are we into this playthrough? We're at, oh, we're at 18 minutes, dang. But still, we managed to the boss. Uh, split into two parts? Uh, sure. Alright, this is the end of part one, I'll see you in part two, where we'll hopefully beat the boss this time.